Well, this started on a Sunday. I believe it was August the 22nd. And of course, polio was raging at that time. That was a real epidemic that year. I was riding in the car with my husband and I said, oh, my legs, can't stand to have my clothes touch my legs. It just burnt like, like they were on fire. And then I progressively just got sicker and sicker. The doctor put me up on the examining table, gave me a spinal. And he said to me, you know, just lie there for a minute or two, Lassie, I'll be right back. And he came back to me and he, he could tell as soon as I saw his face. I've got it. So off I went to isolation, and I was in, oh, such pain. I have never had pain like that. I was lying there, and all of a sudden I said, oh, my legs feel like they're going to sleep. I can't move them. And the treatment was nothing but hot, heavy flannel, blankets that were heated in some kind of hot water and wrapped around my legs. And that was really the only treatment that they had for polio at that time. And uh, I ended up in Ward E on the third floor of the University Hospital. I was completely paralyzed from my neck down. And I remember gradually the use of my left arm came back. And I was so thrilled when I could finally lift myself up. I lived in that house and I learned to keep house and look after my baby. And every day it got better. And what wonderful treatment we got there. They woke us at eight o'clock in the morning, we had breakfast and then we went and swam in the hot pool for an hour. And then we had physio treatments in the gymnasium. And I did try and walk with braces, but those braces weighed 45 pounds and they were pulling my back all out of shape. So the doctor didn't think that was a very good idea for me to continue on with those. But after that year, my husband was a school teacher and we moved to uh, Ralston, Suffield Experimental Station. And I just learned to do everything. And what I couldn't do, somebody else did for me. And life just went on and the pain stopped and I felt like a human being. I think if you add up, and your math is the same as mine, 65 years I've been in the wheelchair. I've lived an absolutely normal life. People don't understand. Because I'm paralyzed, they think I would have no feeling. But your body happens to have two sets of nerves, motor nerves, and sensory nerves. And my motor nerves are dead, but my sensory nerves are very much alive, and they remind me that they're still there daily. Uh, I love to camp. I still play the piano, and, and I'm very active in music therapy around here. I love to play cards, and we have a crib night here every Wednesday night, and we get a bottle of wine and sit and drink the wine and forget about the cards, but, but it's lots of fun. <laughs>